Good afternoon everyone. Uh, today I am working on some multimedia artboard and in a previous video I had done a painting on the white multimedia artboard and today I wanted to show you how beautiful that the black multimedia artboard can lend itself to the oil and cold wax. And it is a multimedia artboard for any type of painting. There is no gesso required. You are ready to take it out of the package and start your paintings. So let's get started now. So I have taped a border onto my multimedia artboard so that when we peel the tape we will have a black border showing and remember when you press your or when you tape your border to go around your edges and press down so that hopefully you won't get too much bleed through underneath and if you want to adhere this to a panel uh, you will need to tape something to the back so that you don't accidentally get any paint on the back of the multimedia artboard. Uh, I usually mat and frame my paper pieces, the majority of them, so I'm not too worried about that for this piece, uh, but I did secure it to the table so it doesn't move around a lot. Um, on the multimedia artboard, you can begin with mark making, and I love these Marabou art crayons, and they do dry and set up within 24 to 48 hours. But I just want to show you how beautiful they look they are they can really add so much and it may show through what I'm painting and it may not but it's a great way to start to sort of activate your surface and a good way to begin. Uh, you can also use your art graph carbon discs. Let's see how the white shows up. You can sort of get a finer line with these carbon discs. To do some markings. But anything that you use to make marks or add your special touches whether it's in the beginning or throughout the painting or at the end of a painting uh, adds something very special to your work so think about your mark making as you go along so let's start painting on this black multimedia artboard
I'm going to turn the painting around now and you can see how beautiful keeping that black border is. Uh, if you want to add anything else, you can scratch in to show that black underneath. Um, you can make some minor touches. Make things a little more vivid. And as far as presentation, I do enjoy matting and framing these pieces and I like to sign on paper pieces on the front just under the image and then when you put a mat on that it will actually cover the name up most of the time. Some people may choose to show your signature but you can mat into the image and they make a beautiful presentation and I and your mark making is still showing through the layers of paint that you did in the beginning and there's just so many different things that you can do on these paper pieces and I am going to show you a finished piece that I had previously done on black multimedia board that has a matte frame and glass on it so you can see how that looks. This is an, uh, a multimedia artboard piece of black uh, that I had previously done and um, I wanted you to see how they actually look with a matte frame and glass and the mat serves a purpose of holding the glass away from the piece of work and I make sure that the pieces are really dry so I let them dry for a few weeks and uh, the paper pieces and multimedia board pieces do tend to dry a little faster than our panels so once it is completely dry you can put a mat on top or even use a spacer to raise it, lift the mat up, and frame it under glass for a beautiful presentation. It's just a different way of being able to show our oil and coal wax works. And I hope you'll try the multimedia artboard in black. And once you do, let me uh, let me know how you liked it. If you uh, prefer using a colored surface, a darker surface, or if you prefer starting your paintings on the white surface. Lots of fun things to try. Thanks for watching everyone.